Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. Let's look into your messages for the week of 15th until the 22nd of July. Virgo, I've been picking up an energy regarding like a situation that has caused grief or it could be that someone has been doing something in the background. Um, but yeah, there's something about drama and there could be a structure involved like a home, a workplace yeah it's like there's someone that has been folded in someone or a couple that has been folded in the drama or they have been watching you okay or like yeah that is the message i'm getting the high priestess could be a cancer pisces in the picture so you're showing up in the present situation as the high priestess in the past position, Ten of Pentacles. The future, the hanged man. Crown area, Six of Pentacles. And the root, King of Wands. The crossing factor is the devil. I feel like someone underestimated you here. Or a group of people. With the past position, uh, the Ten of Pentacles is like a group of people. It could be like a workplace, family. And you're showing up presently as the High Priestess. And I'm picking up through Chakra Energy. So there could be something to do with speaking. Or your, your, your ability to observe <clears throat> because of this situation or this situation seeing that part of you like it could be that not speaking much and then in the past in the future we have the hanged man so the high priestess and the hanged man I see death energy. There could be a Scorpio in the picture as well. So Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. So the hanged man energy is like going in. I'm getting feeling stuck. <laughs> it could be that there's someone that feels stuck. Because these are showing like outside influences. At the root area, King of Wands is reclamation of power. I feel like someone is really confident about something here. Like it could be a different person, but then... Yeah, it's also showing a reclamation of power from a situation. The Devil Uprights... Is that daredevil energy, a lot of patterns, you know, every kind of pattern. So there could be something to do with a pattern here. Could be to do with Saturn retrograde because we see that like that. Saturn retrograde is in Pisces, is happening in Pisces. So that could be turning someone. And now the king of wands is at the root and six of pentacles is at the crown. So that is the subconscious and that is what is shown in the physical. Someone is highly confident or has been highly confident of something that they will forever On one hand what I'm getting is They will give to you or they, because the King of Wands and Six of Pentacles is facing the past. Something about like dependency. 
Perhaps this is like a narcissistic codependent dynamic that you have been healing from. And of course, when we talk about that, we can always think about, or the first thing that comes to mind is romantic relationships. It goes way beyond and above that is the way we operate. So it's like you've been on this journey of differentiating yourself And I'm getting judgment, I'm getting justice in this situation because it's not one person, it's a lot of people that judged you. It's like you have fought your own, a lot of shadow work here. It's like this devil coming like that as well. You have control over a lot right now. And this is what is keeping you in balance for that throat chakra energy. Virgo, you could be going out there to speak or there's someone that may want to speak. At the bottom of the deck nine of pentacles so this person may see you as this person in like having abundant wealth or like just independent you are different you have like grown so much so perhaps you have outgrown that roof they built for you like the invisible roof that you didn't even know now they feel threatened by you In the area of the staff, we have Four of Cups as your attitude or approach. So it feels like you are not really, this is a grounded energy, Cups. So grounded emotions. Or this person is not looking up. It's like you're not accepting, could, yeah, I feel like you're not accepting something here. Outside influences, two of cups. So there could be a relationship here. Could be a couple, could be any kind of relationship, but it feels like, yep. Justice, hopes and fears. There could be a Libra in the picture. The hopes are like justice will prevail or the fears being it may not. So there could be a physical court here. But I feel like judgment has been called on something. I feel like these situations have breadcrumbed you. A knight of swords as, as the outcome. The knight of swords is a court card, so a lot of communication. It could be a person. I feel like someone could be bringing you a message. Okay. What is this message about? Wheel of Fortune. Major Arcana. So you could have messages coming in. With the Knight of Swords, be aware of like chatter as well in the mind space or stuff that just is not necessary. The Wheel of Fortune is showing me a magnifying glass. I feel like someone has definitely been watching you. They've been watching you get back up from stuff they did in the background without you knowing. They look down on you. They. It's like someone takes. It's like you are going out there and they say, go out. Let's see how you survive. That kind of thing. Virgo, I feel like even you did not know that you could do this. 
but you just went with that. And look at you now. The two of cups is two, justice is eleven, which is two. So there is that divine balance, harmony. strength the courage within the fire within for of swords i feel like you may be even more chill now or like just getting to go with the flow of like the divine not so much of the outside world um but really knowing that everything is working out in your favor because they have done a lot to this is a situation or situations that you cannot even pinpoint like what they do because you see they're very good at showing that they give now i'm also picking up another energy that may want to give to you So this may be a new connection or it could be, yeah, it could be something that you're coming newly into. Let's get more about six of pentacles. Strength again. Your crown is showing a lot of strength. There we go. So there could be a Leo in the picture. And that lion is tearing in my face. Ugh, I feel like there's that thing of eliciting the courage within for you. That has happened. Four of swords again. So you could find yourself going in this week more and more. It's like you're really connecting with that hermit energy, retreating, recharging. Because there is so much beauty that is coming. Now with the Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Swords, I'm getting Jupiter and Mercury. And those are two powerful planets for leadership and expansion. You're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. There could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in the picture as well. I've picked that up with the Devil Energy. And Six of Pentacles. Yeah. What do you have for Virgo? Gratitude. discovery so a lot of truth here coming to you it's like in this new position that you're in this new levels the truth is coming to you like it's being attracted you're attracting the truth in expansion spring see your seeds grow looks like a big leap forward Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. So it's like in all of this, there's definitely a lot of like grief. There are a lot of people that were sent to watch you and these are even your neighbors. 
Hmm. Why are they watching? There, they're looking, they're watching, researching. It's like they want to have something on you. They, they never expected you would make it. So they have invested their, their money, their time into not seeing you come. Actually, they want to the plan was to watch to see how you would make it and then now they're curious how you are making it so it's like a lot indeed was set up against you through friends they sent in friends like people that came in to have relationships with you but then it was it was all false You welcome some of them into your home. It's like whatever was sent to you, you use that to. You see that is that lion. There's something about taming. Taming. It's like you've tamed even the worst of beasts. Whoa. And this is not even to brag, but this is what it feels like. And you have victory with this. It's like you're taken into a Jurassic Park and then the dinosaurs become your pets. Yeah, something like that. Whoa. Gratitude. You are capable of more than mere mortal conversation. This is a time of enlightened communication and you will raise the consciousness of others. You are stepping into self-mastery. The gifts you see in others already live within you. Discovery. I am more than I think I am. The questions are about leaving the past behind, a readiness, <clears throat> leaving the past behind, a readiness for a new adventure, a willingness to venture into uncharted territory, a new level of self-care. The keywords are uplift, journey, commitment. It says here, are you trying to recapture a past that no longer fits? If you are presently upset or struggling with a difficult situation, you may be seeking to keep something that is far less than what you deserve. Am I happy in this situation? How is it benefiting me? The healing of predetermined agreements must be addressed. Awareness is healing. Yeah, do not push yourself. No need to push it because a lot that was that went on here wasn't evident. And there's a high chance that there won't be any closure that comes in, no matter how you know, even if you have a conversation with someone, sometimes you can't really get closure because they are so used to hiding from themselves. So how do you expect the truth from this situation so uh i feel like what the divine is bringing for you here which you're showing up in is this discernment and yeah there's a strong energy of discernment and then holding space because you are in a kind of like with the strength card coming twice there's something that is requiring you to keep holding space for yourself Mm, so important because the truth that is coming to you is not from out there it will come from you sitting with yourself maybe putting puzzle pieces here and there but then it will be down to 
you're knowing doing that for you, if that makes sense. Expansion through chakra. Your life is changing as you move away from the old way of relating to others. New people are entering your life. Relationships may no longer work. You need to reach out to those who are in the same vibrational frequency of personal upliftment. Call upon higher companions to advise you at this time. Spring. Embrace the change that is on the horizon. Allow your dreams to become reality. You are ready to bring to life all of your ideas, inspirations and projects. When this card appears, you are moving into a space that allows you to really grow, expand and create in a way you've never done before. There are opportunities for abundance, including financial growth. And if you are starting something new, Prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul. One more message for Virgo. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. It's like, yeah, definitely in all of this, there is healing going on. And your guides want you to know that, like, it doesn't have to apply for everyone, but there's something about, like, releasing oneself of, like, the need to know. So you could be trying to know. It does feel like you have, you have overpowered whatever it is that was supposed to bring you down. The soul doesn't know time. Time is a construct of the physical dimension to your soul. There is only one big now. Think of the past as the now that has already been created and the future as the now that has yet to be created. You don't have the power to uncreate the past, so let that go. Your power of creation lies in your awareness of the present. You have the power to not only create your future, but also create acceptance of your past. You should realize that you are the total summation of every single experience you have had. These experiences have helped shape you into the person you are today. Train yourself not to judge past events as good or bad, but as opportunities. What have you learned from the past that will help you enrich your future? Focusing on the past and letting it dictate the direction of your future is taking, your, is taking your power away from yourself. You are the creator. You hold the power. Reflect on the lessons of the past and use your current power to create your bright future. Wow. Alright Virgo, I'm going to stop here for now and I'll come back with more videos during the week. Do take care. Bye-bye.